All right, that's the right kind. I was freaking out for a second, man. Seven hundred dollars worth of bladed jigs gone. I mean, come on, dude. Come on, but I mean, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. What more could you ask for? One setup, one rod, two baits, smashing dragons. Did you see that, dude? Did you see that? That was sick. Scared the bejesus out of me, and it's a tank. It's a tank, dudes. We in the rodeo now. Look at that fish, dudes. Hello and welcome. What's up, everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. And look where we are. We are back. And one thing's for certain this time, we actually do have expressed, not written. Actually, I do have written permission. Expressed written permission from the property owner to fish this pond. Don't worry, no drama going down today. Hopefully, you never know. Sometimes the across the street neighbors like to uh, insert themselves and get involved, but I'm not worried about that because we know we are good to go. And I got some fun baits on deck. I'm gonna try to catch them on some different stuff today, man. I've got some really fun stuff in the back of the truck, including but not limited to. I got a wake bait, a swim bait, a spinner bait, a catwalk top water, and the trace. And I'm thinking, I wanna try to get bit on the catwalk. It's a little wind, little ripple on the water. So I got the blades with me. I wanna try to get bit on one of the swim baits too. So I think those are the three that I'm gonna force myself to start with. And I'm only gonna carry those three down there, but we got some reserves in the tank just in case we need it. And we know there are hungry largemouth in this pond from the last video. If you guys didn't see the last time I was here fishing and shot a video, go check that out, man. Super cool, really awesome turn of events. First we got kicked out, then the property owner came back and had a change of heart. And it was just a really nice, wholesome video. And you can learn some good lessons from that video. That's here on the channel. I'll link it down below in the video description if I remember. But I'm ready to get down there to the water's edge. It's another bank beater heater today. We're gonna see if we can catch us some on a swim bait and a top water. A little windy, apologize for the wind noise, but let's strap up and let's get down there to the water. See if we can get one to eat for us. All right, got the doobie on deck and the trace and the catwalk. We're gonna see if we can get a top water blow up to start. That will be cool, huh? We're gonna do a little walking with the catwalk, see what happens. I'm gonna fire this way over by these lily pads. Start out right here. Throwing this on the 6'9 medium moderate heater series. Excellent walking bait rod. I didn't really touch on that in my last video, but top water, dude. Poppers and walking baits, super fire on this 6'9 medium moderate. You can walk all day with this, zero fatigue. Good to go for the catwalk and the dogma. See if we can get one to skidoosh. I used to throw a popper all the time in this pond and they would smash it. I don't know if they're gonna be in the mood today. Let's find out. Last time I was here, caught all the fish on a chatterbait. So I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what the exactly they'll eat in here anymore. I know they'll eat a chatterbait though. I do not have that with me. Intentionally. I didn't bring it. I don't know if they're gonna be into the walking bait. Slow it down just a little bit. Did you see that, dude? Did you see that? That was sick. Scared the bejesus out of me, and it's a tank. It's a tank, dudes. We in the rodeo now. It's a tank. It's a dragon. That was awesome, dude. Look at this. This is a tank right here. Came up and smoked it. That's a dragon. Absolute dragon. Monstro, dude. Certified. That's a certified monstro. That was sick. Got my heart racing. That's a four and a half pound largemouth right there. Probably pushing five, honestly. Yes, sir. 
That was fun. Yeah, that's probably like four plus easy. Look at that fish, dudes. Look at that fish. All right. That's a beast of a fish right there. I'm gonna let her go. Thanks for the fight, girl. That was freaking awesome. She came unglued on it. Off she goes. Yes, dude. All right. Will they hit a top water? They will hit a top water. <laughs> that's probably the biggest fish in here. I wouldn't doubt it if that's the biggest fish in here. That was so sick, dude. She ate it right in front of me and scared the bejeebus out of me. Woo, top water is fun. That was fun. I need it. That's the biggest fish I've caught in a while. All right, what's up guys? Back here in the garage, we're gonna switch gears a little bit here. I only ended up catching one other fish that day. A little dink on the spinnerbait, wasn't too exciting. And I have some more footage that I wanna share with you from a different fishing trip. So this is gonna be sort of like a combination video. How about that top water blow up though? Crazy explosion right in front of me, dragging on the catwalk, the Sixth Sense Fishing catwalk, super heater, my favorite top water walking bait of all time. I've caught so many big fish on that bait. I've got an entire peg on the tackle wall dedicated to the Spanish bone catwalk from Sixth Sense Fishing. If you guys haven't tried this bait, I highly recommend it. It's a little bit different than your typical walking bait because it has this keel shape to the belly sort of like triangular angled has this different splooshing action to it it makes a different kind of commotion on the top of the water and they absolutely crush it this is my go-to top water walking bait i was on the dogma for the longest time through the spooks for years and ever since the catwalk came out this is the bait that i just gravitate towards super confidence spanish bone that's all you need and you know that boom 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 i love it you guys saw it in action right there throwing that on the 69 medium moderate heater series rod straight braid 50 pound 65 pound braid pick your poison and you can walk all day with that rod effortless i talk about it all the time you guys probably get sick of hearing me talk about the 69 medium moderate but it really is like one of the most, if not the most versatile rod in the entire heater series lineup. Highly recommend you guys check it out. Get a catwalk, a 6'9", go out there, start chopping and walking and smash a dragon. I mean, what, what more could you ask for? That video was shot a few weeks back when I was back home uh, visiting my parents up in North Texas. Before it got so cold, we're in the middle of a brutal Arctic blast right now. I'm sure many of you guys are experiencing the same thing that I'm experiencing. Here in Central Texas, it's like 18 degrees. It's been brutal. I don't like it, but uh, we're gonna shift gears a little bit and we're gonna move to a day when it was actually a little bit colder than it was when I caught that topwater fish. This is more recent footage, but it's yet again footage that didn't quite make a full video, but I'm excited to share it with you now because I was out throwing one of the new baits that Sixth Sense just released, the 97DD Provoke. Smaller profile, hard plastic jerk bait, expanding, continuing the evolution of the Provoke series. They just dropped these. There are a bunch of really awesome colors. I've been out putting this thing to the test, having a blast throwing this, both with forward facing sonar and just straight power fishing going down the bank. Uh, this is the Ghost Bone Minnow deep diving version. They have a silent version and the regular non-deep diving version as well. You guys check out sixcentsfishing.com. Use that JR10 code at checkout to save 10% off your entire order. Secure the heater, save the bread, grab a new Provoke, a Catwalk, a 6.9 medium moderate heater series rod, which is the same rod that I use to throw the new Provoke, and go to town. Get out there and start smacking them, just like we're about to for the rest of this video. Check it out. What the hell? That's a drum. Why? Why? We have to start the day with a drum on a jerk bait.
cool. Didn't even have to touch them. Sweet. Freaking drum on a jerk bait. Scope me a drum. All right. That's the right kind. Sweet. Decent fish, too. Oh, now, what, what is he doing? It's a catfish. Is it a catfish? No, it's a freaking tank, dude. It's a freaking tank of, of a largemouth. He looked all faded on the side. Yes, dude, that's the way to start the day. He inhaled it, dude. That new Provoke 97 DD down his throat. Sick. That is awesome. He freaking choked it. You guys check that out. Let's get him unhooked. If I can, he freaking ate it all the way. In a little bit of trouble, but we'll get him. Got your back, buddy. He trying to swallow it now. Don't do that, moron. Let me help, help me help you. He keeps trying to swallow the rear hook. We got him. I'm going to get him back in the water. Later, buddy. He swam off real fast. All right. I was blind casting on that one. There we go. Number two is a runner. It's another nice one. Another nice one, dude. Heck yeah. Healthy fish. Decent. 97 DD to the face. At least he didn't freaking swallow it like that last fish. That last fish was in a predicament, dude. He was hooked in the gill bone and the back hook was like right near his crushers and he was trying to swallow it. There's another one, fish number two on the day. All right, the two in and a drum. So let's keep it ripping. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I started out scoping, now I'm just throwing this thing along the bank and twitching it. And they're freaking roasting it, dude. They're up on the bank for sure. Just the way we like it. Really quick, let's talk about the gear we're using right now. 15 pound fluorocarbon line. My signature heater series, 6'9 medium moderate rod. Shimano Corrado 70 HG 7.4 to 1 MGL. And the new Provoke 97 DD forward facing sonar series jerk bait. Coming soon to a theater near you. Stay ready so you don't gotta get ready. We're three fish in, but only two of them are the right kind. So we need three more of those. And we'll be uh, in business, man. Five Fish makes a video, everybody knows the rules. Hopefully we can get a lot more than that. It's freezing cold out here today. Started out about 33 degrees this morning. Made a long run upriver. I was getting brain freeze on the way here. So that was, uh, you know, less than ideal. Top of my head was getting cold, bruh. And uh, I don't know, once we got up here, I was looking at some fish on the scope and they were not really, not really about it. And then I started just kind of power fishing, throwing this thing along the bank up against cover and ba boom, ba boom. So let's keep it rolling. Let's keep doing what we're doing. They like this bait, man. Smaller profile, dives a little bit deeper. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You get a couple fish in the boat, you get warmed up quick. Need my shades though. Bust out the water lands, that sun's peeking. These right here, dude. I like these. Freaking camo Asher frames. With the green lenses, mean green. These things are sick, dude. A little crusty from being in the box. Let's get these cleaned up here. A little microfiber. Yeah, dude. You guys check out Waterland. Waterlandco.com. 
best shades in the game. Get yourself a nice, good pair of polarized lenses. JR15 for 15% off. Shout out to Waterland for helping us do what we do. That's better. Now I'm not squinting. See this boulder right here on this point? There should be a fish there. Is there? I don't know, but only one way to find out. That's a high confidence area right here. That rock will hold heat. Those fish will hug up to it and ambush. Got a little piece of debris in the water right there. A little debris we're going to have to avoid, but I feel like there should be a fish sitting on this thing somewhere. Oh, we got homeboys up here with the fire, chooching. I felt like I felt something touch it. Yeah, there is a fish there. I see him now. Or maybe not. Oh, that might have been a rock. All right. I don't know. My bait's all wadded up. Weird. Oh, man. That's not good. I freaking swung. Got it. Ahoy! Yeah, three so far, man. How y'all doing? Good. Did you get cold last night? <laughs> All right, quick update. Three fish so far, but only two of them were largemouth. I've thrown the jerk bait, the lipless, and a Texas rig, small creature bait for a while now with uh, no, no catches. So I'm gonna make an adjustment. Got an idea. A bait that I like to throw up here in this dirty water, even when it's cold. Water's about 55 degrees, 56 degrees. Sun's coming up. It's a really slick, calm bluebird skies. But like I said, I slowed down and it didn't help. So I'm going to speed back up. And a bait that I like to throw really all year, but even right now when it's cold, especially in this dirty water, is like a bright red uh, fire craw jackhammer with a red bongo on the back of it. So I think I'm going to get that tied on and get back after it really quick. I want to mention this freaking hoodie that i'm wearing is so warm it's got this built-in face mask and it has these thumb holes get it down over your wrists dude six cents fishing has some really great winter apparel you guys check it out six fishing.com jr10 for 10 percent off everything on the website but this thing right here is super legit super warm had to take my uh my bibs off so i was getting a little toasty let's get that fire craw jackhammer tied on six cents bait bags also super legit this one right here is my trailers bag and that right there is one of my favorite jackhammer trailers that bongo see if they want to hit the bongo i got a bag of jackhammers in this boat somewhere let me find that mm. next door one door down, dude. I got a bag of jackhammers in here. Somewhere. I better. It's like $700 worth of jackhammers. Where they at, though? Starting to freak out. This isn't it. Game on. But I was freaking out for a second, man. $700 worth of bladed jigs gone. That would be freaking pissed, dude. So let's do a little bait rigging, man, since we're not catching any fish right now. Make an adjustment. Fire craw, half ounce. Crack hamster. And the boiled crawfish bongo. 3.7 from six cents fishing. Just kill or be killed, that's what I'm coming with. I'm gonna be throwing that on my 7.4 medium heavy mod fast heater series with the new Corrado 200M for jackhammer. I'm gonna tie San Diego jam knot. Five, six, seven, eight wraps on my wraps through the bottom, back up through the top, 
wet your line pull it tight cinch it down one more tug on the tag trim the tag throw the scissors in the floor back to fishing thanks for listening to my ted talk i'm about to start turning and burning dude covering water I'm tired of slowing down all this effort i just want to catch them shallow get it out the mud And there that was guys i hope you enjoyed this little combination video one more time catwalk new provoke 97 the smaller profile jerk bait from the six and the six nine medium moderate heater series i mean come on dude come on but i mean come on buddy come on buddy what more could you ask for one setup one rod two baits smashing dragons just the way we like it man that was a lot of fun and i hope you guys enjoyed watching me catch those fish today. I was using the Provoke on forward-facing sonar. Garmin Live Scope is the system that I have. That's the one that I like. I don't care which one you use. You can use this on Live Scope, but you can also just go down the bank, old school power fishing, using your instincts, using your knowledge of the body of water, and you can get it done like that without the Live Scope. This thing was designed to be used on forward-facing sonar. It is the FFS forward-facing sonar series from Sixth Sense Fishing, but you do not have to use it that way. You can do it old school, power fishing style, and just beat the banks. Speaking of new baits from Sixth Sense, keep your eyes peeled for the Pressure Series coming soon. That right there is the Pressure Series PD7, flat-sided, medium to deeper diving crankbaits i'm so excited for you guys to be able to get your hands on this one this one's a super heater been having a lot of fun throwing that more on that later sixcentsfishing.com jr10 for the win secure the heater save the bread support the movement at the same time shout outs to the jr10 army i appreciate you all for all of your relentless support that you guys show me i could not do this without you i say it all the time you are just as big a part of this as i am and i Literally, the wheels would fall off and we would be broke down, stuck on the side of the highway if it wasn't for you guys spending your hard-earned money punching in that JR10 code to show your support. Save a couple dollars and just let Six Sense Fishing know that, hey, we're out here. Anyone who uses that JR10 code is a, an automatic member of the Heater family. You have my eternal gratitude. I appreciate the support. Send me a screenshot so that I can hook you up with a shout out. Just take a little screenshot of that order confirmation. DM it to me on Instagram at the Justin Royal. I will post it up, tag your account. It's just a way for me to give you all some public recognition for helping us keep the lights on, helping us keep the cameras rolling so that we can continue to bring free fishing content to everybody here on YouTube. Also, last but not least, as always, I gotta say a big shout out to the heater army these people on the screen right here that show their support on a monthly basis go above and beyond to help us keep the channel running if you guys are interested in becoming a heater army member yourself get access to special badges and emojis the heaters only live stream be a heater army member you'll stand out in the live chat when we drop new videos you can click the top link down below in the video description to learn more about that but that's about all i got for you today that about does it that about wraps her on up so i'm gonna say goodbye for now but i'll see you on the next one